Hi everyone, hi mom, it's Liz here at The Paper Project and I'm here to share my Calico Collage Design Team Project with you all. This is using the Spread Your Wings Digital Kit, plus I've used some additional um, ephemera pieces from uh, other Calico Collage kits, but I will list everything below that I've used. This is a soft cover, it's about eight and three quarters by six. Um, all the details will be below and in the listing. Um, but let me show you guys inside. I super love how this one turned out. I did stitch on the cover on both the front and back. I stitched the um, scrapbook paper, which is like a digital designer paper. Uh, the back I attached the lace with a little bit of fabric and an element from the kit, which I thought was super adorable. And then the front, um, I've also added some elements, which I'll show you soon. With this um, garment pin from J9 Scrap Shop, I've added the um, butterfly um, applique here with a little bit of burlap. And that can be totally removed if you don't want to have it uh, with the journal. And there's a lace closure. And so what I did with this one is you can totally take it out from the back if you didn't want to have it so that can totally slip out of the back there um, but I left it so that it lies nice and flat when you open the journal there is an applique in the front as well as just layering with a quote from the kit that I love and then I also used on the spine this um, I think it's called the iron on lace and I'll show you guys what I used at the end because I thought it was super cool I found it at a thrift store um, so let me take you guys inside. It is super chunky. I have loaded this one and I should probably call it a sample journal because I've used a lot of elements that um, I like to use in a lot of my journals. So for the front pocket, it's nice and large. Again, I've stitched the um, cardstock to the cover. I used a postcard from another one of Calico Collage's kits. I made this stamp with this book belongs to. Um, hi, Stacy. This is actually a stamp I recently got from my friend Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. And um, I'll show you guys what else she has sent me recently. But oh my gosh, she found the stamp, guys. And so I'm so happy that um, she got me um, one of them. So I made this to match the kit, um, or sorry, the journal. And then just extra little journaling space there. I love that image, so I used it for the front page. And again, I've used the torn pages throughout um, the journal because I really love that look right now. Um, just did a little bit of um, words at the top here, and I'll show you guys where that comes from as well. It's also calico collage, double-sided scrapbook paper, which I was so happy to find recently. Elements from the kits. And I just made a, a pocket here with that book page. I did a lot of stitching here, or, or sewing, I should say. So this is a, a piece that I've sewn on, and I've done some coffee staining and spraying and some stenciling. This is just being held on with washi tape, so it can be moved or left where it is. But I like this um, cardstock paper that I use. It's quite, quite thick. I thought it looked like the shape of a butterfly, so I used it there. I made some um, tag pockets there. And with this gorgeous image and then here what I did is a double pocket and I sewed a uh, paintable wallpaper piece together to make this really nice envelope and then I just added a bunch of elements that can be used throughout and so this envelope you guys it feels like fabric I love it and it is paintable so you could you know stain that if you wanted to or paint it or whatever on this large pocket, I also stitched it and I added a J9 Scraps library card with some elements, which can be moved anywhere as well. I like the coffee staining on this page. Again, I did a lot of the um, tabs at the top with fabrics. And this is another uh, journaling space from the kit as well. I love that butterfly. J9 Scraps um, glassy bag, which I sprayed as well. And then here I did like double pocket or tuck spot here. And then on this side, um, this is a sewn fabric pocket, more journaling space. And I do use nice thick cardstock for my journal cards. And then here I made a tiny little, tiny little book that can be used with this, um, with this kit here. 
just love the, the stitching you know it just it comes out how it comes out and I love that about it because it just it looks very natural and I like that I like how that turned out here it's uh, uh, one side of an envelope and so I did some stamping there's an element from a different kit here another tuck here and then of course the side on this side as well I love the quotes this um, is an alterations tag which I um, I kind of you know layered I've seen a lot of ladies do this recently and I really liked it so that's fabric and lace and an element from the kit and this um, alterations tag is G9 scraps this is a fabric um, tab at the top and then here's another um, J9 Scraps guest check, which I just um, added to the page there. On this side, I did a belly band, and this belly band has a J9 Scraps envelope, which again, I did some layering, some of those words that I was talking about, and I did spray this one as well, so it looks nice and, and vintage. Center of the signature, and I love that quote. Again, some of the words. This is from a different uh, calico collage kit, and I just wanted to add it because I love the quote as well. And I just love the colors um, in this kit, you guys. So here is um, just paper clipped on a little element again from the kit. I did make this, um, I guess, pocket. Um, I added a little pocket there and another one at the top. And that can be used anywhere, but I really liked um, the stitching. And I love the way the uh, book pages feel with the um, stitching. It's just, oh, it's such a nice feeling. And then here I just did some embellishments, the other side of the alterations tag, and again, words and lace, and I thought it was a nice little tuck spot on this page. Again, the other side of the envelope with um, more journaling space here. And then another tag that fits in there, and then another gorgeous journaling card. I layered this so it looks like it's a stamp on the envelope, which I thought was cute, so that goes there. And then here's a kind of like a double tuck spot love that there I've done some washi tape um, as well and then here the other side of the Jane and scraps bag what I did is I added um, more journaling space but I made it look like a little letter that you, you know you could send out to somebody and then here I just added a little pocket with that nice embellishment this one also flips out like that coffee staining and then just did a belly band in that center there Again, the um, large pocket. This one has a layaway tag from J9 Scrap Shop, and these are tearaways, so you can actually like use them individually or all together. And then on this page, I just added a little journaling space in this double pocket. And then here's another J9 Scraps uh, glassine bag. I love these. I you know stained it and embellished it, and I just think it's really a nice addition. You can use that anywhere in the journal again there or somewhere else love those birds again that paper that looks like a butterfly wings there this is fabric that's been layered on another pocket with another gorgeous journaling spot and then here as well so there's lots of spaces to journal and tuck things and hide things and then here i just added a nice journaling space with more places to journal i love that bird so that's it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I will list below everything else that I used, um, but I did mention I was going to show you guys the um, iron-on trim that I recently found. I've never seen this before, but I love it. So it's like lace on the top, and then it has this like, I don't know, plastic feel at the bottom. I didn't iron it on, I actually glued it onto this one, but I thought it was just, it just looks so nice, and it's just such a nice crisp finish. Um, the paper line that I used, I'll link it below because I did use two different ones. Um, some double-sided scrapbook paper and, um, I think it's like a, a garden, vintage garden one for this one as well. And then, um, yeah, so that's it. Questions, comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.